In this video, we'll talk about functions of several variables. The idea here is that sometimes a quantity will depend on multiple variables. In this case, we've got a monthly car payment, which is a function of the interest rate, the loan amount, and the term. So we've got a fairly complicated looking formula, but notice that it has three variables in it, the L, the R, and the N. If we want to evaluate this function, we need a value for each of those variables. So in this example, we're computing the monthly car payment for a 5% interest rate loan of $15,000 for a period of 60 months. And we get that our monthly car payment would be $283.07. Here's another example where we have the heat index, which depends on humidity and temperature. This time, instead of getting a formula, we're given a table of values. Since there are two input variables, we need to have a value of our function, those are the values here in green. We need to have one of those values for every pair of values of humidity and temperature. So if, for example, we wanted to know what the heat index was on a 92 degree day when the humidity is 75%, we find 75 on the humidity track, 92 on the temperature track, and then we find that our heat index is 116. If we want to plot a function of two variables, then we can visualize that in three dimensions. Remember that when we had a function of one variable, our graph existed in two dimensions. So we've added one variable, and we've also added one dimension. First we need to know how to plot a point in space. So if we have a point with three coordinates, an x, a y, and a z coordinate, first we take the first two numbers, the x and the y, locate that point in the xy plane, and then we move vertically the third number. The z indicates how far up or down we go. So in this example, we've plotted the point 5, 2, 4. So we find the point 5, 2 in the xy plane, and that's really the point 5, 2, 0. If the z is 0, that means we haven't moved vertically up or down. And then since the z in this case is 4, we take that point 5, 2, 0, and we move up in the vertical direction 4 units to get the point 5, 2, 4. So if we want to plot a function in three dimensions, all we have to do is take every possible pair of values x and y, plug them into our function, and then plot all of those points. When we do that, we get a picture that looks something like this for the example z equals x squared plus y squared. Of course, it would be extremely time-consuming and tedious to actually plot a function by plotting points. So instead, we usually use technology to create these visuals. There are a lot of different tools we can use, but even a simple Google search by typing in plot z equals x squared plus y squared can give us a good picture of what this function might look like.